Hello friends, welcome back or welcome to the channel. So a couple of months ago, Grace, Ilsa and I answered questions that guys had for us girls. And now it's time to gather my favorite men to answer questions that us ladies have for those men, for those guys, for those boys. I'm interested to know. So sit back, relax, grab your tea. They're about to spill it. All right, first question. First question. What are signs that a guy likes you? Like how, how do you show that you like a girl? Me personally, if, if you're not someone I'm interested in, I just won't even probably message you back that often. But if a guy like consistently responds to you and talks to you and like keeps up with you, then that's usually a sign. The big <laughs> in my pants. <laughs> Is that wrong? That's that's a sign, yeah. When they talk with you comfortably, when they joke around with you. Have you been in situations where you like a girl, but she, even if you're not replying, you still like her? Or are you like making that extra effort? Dude, if a girl wants to, it, it's like the whole, you do text first. Listen, if they're interested, they'll make the effort too. If I'm interested, I, I'm like, I go full simp mode. Most people I know are like that too. So it's like, yeah, if I'm consistently responding to you and not ghosting you, then it's a good sign. Next question. What is the first thing that you notice in a girl? Ah, uh, that fat ass. Dude, you're gonna say that. Nah, I'm joking. Seriously, probably like their eyes. I agree with Molly though. Definitely like eyes first. Really, really with anybody. I, I'm, a, I'm smile and eyes. I would say definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's such a wholesome answer from two very not wholesome people. You know what the worst thing is? Is when you find a girl who's got the prettiest eyes and she's got the prettiest smile and she talks and she sounds like she's on If you were a girl for a day, what would you do? I would see how many things I could put inside myself. It's not like a purse where you hold things. Yeah, but I've always imagined what it would feel like to get things jammed inside of me, you know? I would probably pay all the boys a visit. I'm first though. I don't want to have none of the boys sloppy seconds. All right, yeah, Molly, Molly would get first. Honestly, if you were a female, I think Molly would, like you and Molly would be a thing, 100%. Juice is the bottom though, 100%. Have you read any of the fanfics, dude? You are the bottom. I could hold you down and tear your ass with one hand. If you even tried, I would just say, Molly, your channel's dying and you'd curl up into a ball and start crying and you'd just be completely vulnerable. <laughs> why do you guys always touch your balls? Okay, listen. It's like, why do you always pull your bra up and arrange your tits? It's like a, it's like a instinct thing, dude. You're just sitting there like doing nothing, playing games, talking, talking to the boys. And you're just like touching your nuts, dude. So what you're saying is you touch yourself when you're talking to the boys. Yeah, all the time. It's not sexually though. It's like when we're in VR, there's numerous clips of me in VR scratching my nuts. I j it just happens, dude. If you don't have an erection, it's fine. Yeah, and if you do, it's fine too. Do periods matter? No, every girl gets them. You're literally asking us if natural causes- Bro, there is guys out there who care. I promise you there is. Dudes like that are I know. And, and that's what I think this video is here to help is that a lot of women will feel a lot more comfortable knowing that you guys, like boys, a lot of boys don't give a f about a lot of things. Literally, look at Juicy. Juicy doesn't care if you bleed in between the legs. Juicy doesn't care. He'll get you some snacks from the store and put on a movie for you. Yeah, what he said. He'll cuddle you to sleep. 100%. Sometimes I bleed between the legs, you know, when Molly visits. I've done that. I mean, Mole definitely has. I know he has. You ever had hemorrhoids, bro? Hey, Tenet, can you get me a towel, please? Why, Molly? Oh, because I just sat down and my hemorrhoid busted. Now I'm bleeding everywhere. For real? Yeah. I had to go to hospital. It actually happened, like, the first month I moved to Sydney to work for Tenet. Starts bleeding. I was bleeding from my so much, I thought I was going to die, dude. How long before a girl can sh in front of you? Hmm. That depends if you're into it, though. First date. If you're into it. First date, shit on your chest? Yeah, right on my chest. But I'm not talking in a sexual sense. Like, a girl feels comfortable to fart and poop. I don't give a fuck. Personally, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Tana, let me ask you this, though. What if the question is the other way around? For argument's sake, you got a boyfriend? Theoretical boyfriend, like this isn't- You don't actually have a boyfriend. You don't have one, but I'm saying like, what if you had one? Uh, first date, he's like, I need a sh First date would be weird in my opinion. It has to apply to both sides though. Like if he wouldn't let me fart or poop and then was like, I'm gonna go take a fat dump, I'd be like, you. Like, you know what I mean? I think it's like both ways. Next question. What are your instant turnoffs? Mine would probably, mine would probably have to be like unmotivated. 
Like anyone who's unmotivated is instantly like you just need to want something in life. Yeah, if any is if someone's just not moving towards anything. Like I wouldn't want to be in the office that's... making YouTube videos for like 10 hours a day and then they're at home like sleeping. What about uh, visual turnoffs or like even sexual turnoffs, I guess. If someone looks okay, if someone looks greasy, like if a mother is looking greasy, like someone who doesn't, yeah, someone that doesn't look like clean. Yeah, like you want somebody who takes care of themselves. Work ethic and like, you know, um, motivational that sort of bullshit. If they don't have it, I don't want them. But also hygiene, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Brush your teeth. Take a shower. Please, for the love of God, shower. How often do guys jack off? I feel like it really depends on the mood. What well, depends, right? There's times yeah. where like you don't nut for like four days and then you know your balls ache, you need a nut. So do you, is that a thing? Like you have to, like it gets to a point where you're like, bro, I got to release. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Like how is, how, what's the longest you've ever gone without jacking off? Probably like a week. 10 minutes. It's like, I got to go real quick. I got somewhere to be. I'll be back. <laughs> I think someone's at the door. See girls, they can literally go months. Like, No, that's not even an option. Does it really hurt that much when you get hit in the balls? Yes! Yes! It's not so much getting hit in the balls. It's like the ache that you get. There's like a stomach pain that comes after. Really? Getting hit, getting hit doesn't even really hurt. Like you get like a shock, but it's the stomach pain after is f brutal. Do you think that childbirth is easier or harder? They both got their pros and cons. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like they're a bit different. That was, the, that was the right answer, dude. If you could only have a smart girl or a hot girl, what's your choice? Smart girl. Smart girl. Yeah. Well done, boys. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you both. A hot girl who's just like dense is like just useless. It makes me want to pull my hair out, honestly. You want to be intellectually stimulated. Does a girl's body count matter when you start dating them? Meaning like the amount of men she has slept with before you get together. Nah. No. Why do you think some guys care? Trust issues. Like they probably they probably have a past with somebody who f***ed them over. And even though they do the same, they just get like hyper self-conscious. They're like, oh, she's had sex with this many people, you know, probably can't trust her, but I don't think it matters. Is peeing standing up fun? Yeah. Dude, I am Jealous. I am jealous of that dude. Peeing standing up is fun. You can spell your name and it is not fun when you have an erection. Yeah, like like after sex is it like, oh like how do you Well it's not even that. It's like when you wake up in the morning with morning wood and you gotta go to the toilet. And then you go to pee and you think it's gonna go here, but it goes like here. I feel like over time you learn the trajectory of your piss arc. You know what I'm saying? What did it feel like um losing your virginity? Like did you care? Was it a big deal? Because I know for a lot of women out there, I'm not speaking for everyone, myself, I'm speaking for myself, is like, it was a big deal. It was, I was mostly nervous. I actually remember leaving, being like, if this is what sex feels like, I never want to have it again. <laughs> Damn, well, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty epic. See, for chicks, I feel like it's, it's way more stressful though. No, I feel like it's just more stressful for guys in general, dude. You have to worry about lasting. Yeah. Which sometimes is a problem, sometimes isn't, you know? So like, that's like, to guys, that's like a huge stressor, whether guys want to admit it or not. Well, I think you guys have educated a lot of women out there. So thank you for being actually relatively wholesome and then not so wholesome. Can you please tell them to subscribe to my channel? No! Subscribe to Tanner. She has to get enough clout to get a boyfriend. Lord knows she fucking needs it. Everyone subscribe right now. There's no point you saying that, Juicy, because everyone's already clicked off this video by now. I'll give you a top tip for all the women watching. Focus on your career and getting money, okay? That's what you need to do. You need any more motivational advice? DM me. I'll tell you exactly.